Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to quickly map publish dates to all of your blog URLs so that you can use that data to prioritize your content relaunch efforts and hopefully land some quick organic traffic gains. So let's get started. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need to do here is come over and grab the CSS selector of the publish timestamp on your blog post. So for my blog here, just looking at this example post, I'll just simply highlight the timestamp here and then just go right click and inspect. And what this is going to do is bring me into the source code exactly where that timestamp entry is. Now what you'll do where it's highlighted is just right click, go copy to and then go copy selector. Now what you want to do is come into Screaming Frog. And if you don't have this tool yet, I highly recommend it to anyone performing site crawls or any type of SEO or content audits. Okay, so what you'll do is come up to configuration and then go custom extraction. Now you can see I've already got mine set up here just for uh, time savings, but what you'll do here is just give it a name, so call it date. And then this, by default, this will be set as XPath, but you just want to set it to CSS path and then simply paste in the path that you just copied from the source code in here. And then by default, I think this will be set to extract inner HTML, but what you want to do is go extract text. So once you've got those settings in place, just click OK, and now you've added that. Now the next thing you want to do here is come in and set up your crawl configuration in your, in your spider. Now I like to keep this super simple. So what I generally do for this is I just come up to crawl. I won't crawl all the images, CSS, JavaScript, etc., and store that. But what I will do is I'll crawl internal hyperlinks and then I'll crawl the canonicals and page next previous. And then I will check links outside of the start folder. And then for extraction, since we're not doing a full content audit, at least for this example, I'm just interested in pulling in those timestamps so I can get a quick sense of all the potentially outdated content. I'll just pull in the page title so I can identify it. I'll also bring in the word count so you can couple that with the outdated timestamp. So you might see an article that's been published several years ago that's also really thin on content. That could just give you another data point to work from. And then coming across here, I'll just leave that set as a default, text only. And then I'll just have these different settings in place here. So it's selecting all the way from the top down to respecting the next previous. And then I'll just leave the defaults in place for that. So pretty straightforward. Now, now, one thing to note, if you're only interested in crawling, say, the blog directory rather than your entire site, uh, just to speed things up a little bit, one thing that you could do is come into configuration and go include. And then let's just say all of your content is housed inside of a blog subfolder, for example. And then what you would do to only crawl the content inside of that is you would just go blog and then you would match the expression just at the top here. So I would then go period and then asterisks here. Uh, so just drop in your full domain name here with the HTTP and www. And then after the folder, just put period and then asterisks and then drop in a URL from your blog here and test and just make sure it works. But then that way, when you crawl your site, you're only focusing in on that blog directory and not crawling the rest of your site because you don't necessarily need to do that. But for this example, I'm just got my, I pretty much just have a blog. So I'll just leave that unchecked for now. So I've got my custom extraction set, I've got my crawl settings in place. So then all I would do is just drop in my domain and click start. You can see that I've already ran mine here, but then you'll just let it run through. And what it's going to do is gonna pull in all of the URLs on your site here. And then you scroll across and what you'll find, a lot of these will be blank just because we didn't bother mapping that in the original crawl with our, our crawl settings. We're only interested in the date timestamp. So you'll scroll all the way across until you come to this date column. And you can see now what Screaming Frog has done is it's come and extracted all of the timestamps for all of the posts. And you can see up here too, if you want to filter this even more, I can just come in and I said, hey, I only want to look at all of the dates that aren't empty. So where those timestamps have been mapped, because that allowed me just to get rid of any of the category pages and things like that. Uh, similarly, what you could do too, is you could say, hey, I'm only interested in looking at all of the posts that were published within certain years, right? So in that case, you would go contains, and then you would put in the year. And then you could even put in an or statement. So if it was published in 2017, or 2018, or 2019, and essentially what that'll do is filter down. So as an example, I might only want to look at the posts that were published in 2019 for my site. So what I would do is just go, okay. 
And now you can see that it's filtered out all of the posts that were published back three, four years ago now. This is just a really quick way to surface all of that outdated content on your site. This is really critical for, for blogs where like I used to have a lot of these posts that were ranking, but with over time, I've kind of lost that freshness factor. So this just quickly gives me a place to narrow in my focus and go back and pull out the oldest content so that I can start working through or at least having a review of that content and seeing which ones I wanna actually go back and update in order to get them into the higher rankings on the first page. And one final note here too, even though the content's really outdated, before you go and remove assets from a site, you also wanna make sure when you're doing a proper full content audit process is that you're mapping traffic, backlink, conversion, and, in, and a bunch of other data points that'll help you accurately determine if a piece of content should be removed or consolidated. And I go into this in a lot more depth in my content audit playbook. So you can see here where I've been mapping backlink traffic data to all of the URLs and using that to make these different action items assignments that I prioritized. And if you're interested in diving in and learning a little bit more about that process, I've included a link to my course below this video so that you can check that out if you are interested. Otherwise, you can just use this simple custom extraction in Screaming Frog to identify all of those outdated assets on your site and use that as a guiding point to determine which ones you start to update, relaunch, and hopefully recover any traffic that you may have lost as it's become outdated over time. Now, if you like this video, you found it helpful, please give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more actionable bite-sized content like this, and I will see you in the next video.